We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. Yankees baseball is next. Garrett Cole will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Matt, I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole. Big, strong guy. Former first-round draft pick out of UCLA. 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched. He has a chance to be a no-hit type of pitcher every time he takes the mound. Here's Javier Baez. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they begin this series feeling pretty good about the way things have gone as they come in riding a four-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, I'm looking forward to this one. They got their ace on the mound today. You get to the ballpark, you're ready to go. You're watching video. You know this guy is going to put his best foot forward, execute pitches to all quadrants. The opposition's got to be on point if they're going to have a chance today. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking changeup. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Now the 2-1. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3-1 and one now. Here it comes. Swings through it for strike number two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Now a swing and a miss on the slider as the leadoff man is set down on strikes to open up the ball game. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. No balls in one strike. He's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Now a fastball here that'll wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Hey, I get it. He wants to set up that breaking ball down and away, but that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. In the dirt. And, oh, he can't quite dig it out. That is third. The designated hitter. And this is the kind of play that makes a manager go a little bit nuts. It's only the second batter of the entire game, and his defense is throwing the ball around already. I'm sure he's hoping that error isn't a sign of things to come. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two balls and no strikes to the Cubs designated hitter. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone. This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Gets the call on the changeup there, two and one. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 and 0, oh, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, D. Rowe, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Throw won't get him. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball in the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound, and then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. Now the 1 0. No. 2 0 count, runners at the corners. You can bet he's looking for something to drive right here. There's a good chance he gets something to hit, too. Fouled off. Runners are at first and third, one away. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's a 314 hitter. He's taken him deep once. from the stretch so important getting ahead with the bases loaded already a difficult situation so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count here comes the 0 1 left side but well foul Bodie on third Bryant at second Contreras is over at first with one away Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Working for the punch out and the offering. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, Wear it, because that could have been a run. The 1 2. Still a ball and two strikes. Comebacker, this could be big. Torres at the bag. On to Voigt, an inning ending double play. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show.
you Darvish gets the call for game one of the series Dan any thoughts hey this guy pitched really well in his last outing only allowing one run if he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one into the box Brett Gardner he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first for the Yankees the center fielder Brett Gardner and now a pitch on the way and here's a called strike to the 36 year old veteran it's nothing in one well guys as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah Matty you never know right here interleague game when the weather gets cold this could be a nice harbinger to what we're going to see in, in, in the fall classic right here two first place teams going to lock horns in a battle and I'm jacked up. Here's Darvish on 0 and 2. I got to count 1 and 2. I got to count 2 and 2. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. What I like about that strikeout, guys, is that he came back with a fastball on two and two. He was heading to count 0 and 2 earlier, but instead of continuing to nibble a little bit, he decided to get aggressive again and to challenge with his hard stuff. Here's big Aaron Judge. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He comes in with 24 homers to his credit so far this year. Ready with the 0 1. Inside, ball one. one and two as he chases the slider a bouncer to the left side throw on to first two gone that is third the designated hitter John Carlo Stanton and digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Darvish pauses. Here it comes. So far this season Stanton is working with a slugging percentage over 550 so there's no denying he's one of the premier power bats in the league. The 1-0. One and one the count now and facing right handed pitching so far this season Stanton hits a little over the 270 mark. Now the one and one pitch is taken for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Frozen on the fastball never had a chance and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one two three still no score. Second inning set to go and next it'll be the outfielder Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. 
as this game progresses I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more it's early they're a little less aggressive right now so he's able to get away with it the wind up and the 0 1 drilled to the right side gloved by LeMahieu throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second batting seven the right fielder Jason Hayward so that'll bring up Jason Hayward now here it comes Ball one. No score here as we play inning number two. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. And there are two away now. That is it. The center fielder, number eight, Ian Hack. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He had a homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. First pitch coming. Here it is. Cold strike as the slider gets the outside corner. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Half is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull. Hit high and deep to left field. Looking up is the left fielder. Gone! A solo home run here off the bat of Ian Happ. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. I know height sights 2020, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Here's the first pitch to him. And it's fouled away. Kipnis, or Kip for short. He was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Wow, that's 40 pitches for him already. This doesn't have the makings of a start that he's going to go very deep. Slow roller down the third baseline. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Cubs are on the board first thanks to this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 1-0 Chicago.
stepping up to the plate, Gary Sanchez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Gary Sanchez. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there 1 and 0. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. If you've been paying attention, the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. Darvish delivers the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. Three. 3 and 1. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The 3 1. Squared that one up just a little late. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3 0 oh to punch him out. One away. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. Here's the second baseman, D.J. Mayhew, lifted down the line and left. And he's going to make the catch! And he paid a big price for it, too, as he crashes headlong into the wall. Coming to the plate now, Mike Talkman. It was a two for four effort for him in Wednesday's game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Schwarber will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. It remains one nothing. So coming to the plate, Javier Baez. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. First offering on its way. Ball one, no play. Now here's the pitch. And that's in there for his strike one and one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. David Bowden. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. And now pitch on the way. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing and one. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Tuckman is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Now that designated hitter, Chris Ryan. 
Here's Chris Bryant now. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. But they're on top, one to nothing. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home right third. Here, here. Not much going on That's offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, that's cool. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Grounded to first. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. So the base is empty here with one away. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First pitch coming, here it is. Yeah. On the year, Andujar brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Hit hard on the ground to the right. Kipnis is there. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Digging in now for the Yankees, Luke Voigt. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Darvish pauses. Here's the first pitch. Back outside. The 1 0 home. He's taken high above the zone. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Hit hard to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. 
So the Yanks go 1 2 3. They're on the short end of a 1 to nothing score. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Wilson Contreras. First delivery to him on the way. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. Way outside. One and two. Now here's the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. From 0 oh and 2 to 3 and 2. What a great at bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. That's an excellent at bat right there. Fell behind early one and two. Didn't panic or start chasing pitches out of the zone. He's able to lay off three pitches in a row, and he's standing on first with no outs. That's a great job. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He's set. Here it comes. Rizzo, 30 years of age. He was taken in the sixth round back in the draft of 2007. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended. Really good pitcher's pitch right there, even though he didn't get the called strike. The 3-1 pitch is in there for a full count now, three and two. And boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. And things are not looking good here in the fourth inning. That's the second walk of the frame. Good time for the catcher to go out to the mound and have a chat with this guy to give him a little breather. Stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. As a look, now the pitch. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. And he fouls this one off. One one home is laid off for ball two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Oh. 
has a look. Now the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Here's Jason Hayward now as he'll take a look at a pitch too low it's ball one comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the 1 0 and this is hit hard to the right side but foul. Now the one and one pitch on the ground to second base. This could be two Torres at the bag on to Voigt and inning ending double play a couple of walks but no damage. We're back to Friday night baseball on the show after this. Here's Brett Gardner now back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. And he misses inside with that one ball one. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. A 1 1. Misses for the second ball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. going to even up the count at two and two. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Hey throwing the ball great up into this point. Don't want to allow a lead off walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch to him. Popped him up. Under it is Rizzo. One away. Next to the Yankees, the designated hitter, Giancarlo. Ready for yeah. another chance, Giancarlo Stanton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. Darvish a check on first. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. 
great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Right side. Rizzo was there. One there. Back to the pitcher. Covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We played four full. It's the Cubs one, and the Yankees nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. And in that last at bat, it makes you think that this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball, and he didn't miss it. Hit it right on the screws. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0-1. Now the pitch. Inside ball one. In the air out toward right field. Judges under it. He's got it one away. Now back the second baseman, Jason Gipnick. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, that pitch is out. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And the ball is dropped. Almost a terrific play as we get another look here. He reaches for this one but can't quite get there as this winds up a base hit. And that brings up Javi Baez. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So after getting the strikeout on the fastball, not a bad time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. So in now for Chicago, David Bodie. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. That's and that's inside, looked like the slider, and it's 2 0. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. Hard hit ball to second. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Well, d -Row, you have to love that if you're a hitter. You get ahead in the count, 2-0. You get a fastball right down the middle, and he sure knew what to do with it. Are you kidding me? You fight tooth and nail to get into count leverage at bats. 2-0, 3-1, 1-0 to buy yourself that fastball middle cut, and he didn't miss it.
looking to keep this a one run game the pitch fastball too high to start him out here one and oh man this guy's had their number all game long up down in and out he's pitching very well the one oh Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Fooled by the speed and location of that one. It's two and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and little pop up here right behind home plate. And he will make the play back there, and an opportunity goes by the boards here as that will end the inning. Cubs strand a couple, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, thanks, Heidi. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Two balls and no strikes. Darvish delivers the 2-0. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off-speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. in there and it's even now two and two two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here two two the last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count three two count full three balls and two strikes now the three and two pitch he swung on and missed strike three. Wow, this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now, but that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Nope. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. One and one, here it comes. Ball two. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Here now the 2-2. Two, two. 
started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Full count still. No runs, no hits, and one error on the Yankee line score so far. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. The batter, no one feeling. Into the box now, Mike Tuckman. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the belt, the pitch. Off the plate, ball in. One and no pitch on the way. Shot toward right center. Half is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batter, good stop. Winter. Now with the play, Torres. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch on its way. Yeah. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The 0-1 on its way. Hit hard back up the middle. That's a hit. The first of the game for the Yankees. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. How hard about? single up the middle. Hard yeah, watch play. your lips right Be there, there, Dan. Sent it back right oh, where it came ball. from. Here's Miguel Andohar now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. to hold the lead here's the delivery it's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner if it stays fair it's gone and that nearly would have gotten him on the board instead it's a long foul ball the set and the one one fouled off again and now he's in a one and two hole One and two. Here it is. Into right field. That's a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. As the pitching coach heads out for the mound, I think this is probably just a case of giving your guy a chance to catch his breath, pump him up a little bit, let him know that he's got it under control. Into the box, Luke Voigt. Yes, he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Two out, bases loaded. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0 2. No balls, two strikes. Line to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run will score from third as that ties things at one. That boy, D. Rose, so close to getting the strike out there. Needed to make one more pitch and didn't throw a good enough breaking ball there with two strikes. Yeah, and that's what you pray for from an offensive standpoint. You try and pick up that red spinning dot that constitutes slider coming in there, and then you hope it doesn't fall off the table. He was able to get himself inside that baseball and get a ribby hit. One ball, no strikes to count.
the set and the 1 0. Bases are loaded here, two down. Fouled off. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And now it'll be the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Here's the first pitch to him. Sorry, hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1 0. Now the pitch. Feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. The 2 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Anthony Rizzo. Ready once again, Anthony Rizzo. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. A ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. Now that the left fielder, Kyle. Schwarber. Now in the box, Kyle Schwarber. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. And that misses inside 1-0. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Now here's the pitch. Two and one. I got two one to count. Three and one to the Cubs left fielder. The three one. He's taken for strike two. Three balls, two strikes. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Score remains tied one to one. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie right of the Year, field. Big Aaron Judge. The right fielder, Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat on its way, and he takes ball one. Oh. 
And it's fouled away. The 1-1. One, one. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo home run there for Aaron Judge. Number 25 for him on the year. And the Yankees take the lead. It's 2-1. to one. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Giancarlo Stanton now. Yes, so he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Two balls and no strikes. The count is Stanton. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. It's a solo blast off the bat of Giancarlo Stanton. 24 home runs for him on the season, and it gives the Yankees a 3-1 lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Chicago manager up out of the dugout now as he'll make the slow walk to the mound. And he's going to signal to the bullpen that'll be all for you, Darvish. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Ladies Jeremy Jeffress takes right. over on the mound here with nobody out now in the sixth inning. Chicago, number 24, Jeremy Jeffress. Now batting, catcher, Gary. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. and oh. No outs, nobody on. Two and oh. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. The 2-0 on the way is in there for strike one. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander has begun to get loose. He swings and crushes it. Oh my, there is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home run. It's a solo shot here for Gary Sanchez. 19th home run for him on the season as the Yankees have taken a 4 to 1 lead. Ball's jumping in this one. That's the fourth to leave the yard so far. Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby deal. A ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage during batting practice. Both were super confident, and it's coming to fruition today. At the plate now, DJ LeMayhew, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip.
Hit to short. Throw on to first in time, one away. Next one, Yankee. No left fielder. Man. Now batting, Mike Talkman, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 0 and 1 the count. Three runs already home here. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Sixth home run on the season for him as they stretch the lead to 5 1. Well, balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering, too. Now batting. Not to the plate now. Torres as the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. He's one for two in this one. One oh. The swing and a miss, strike one. Four runs here in this half inning. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. The one two. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good looking swing. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. Hit down the line at first, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Nope. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Half is there. Two gone. Now that. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. Ready now, Luke Voigt. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Seared down the first baseline. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. 
it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there pretty much unable to hit any of his spots and now he's at three and one and he's put him into another great hitting count. Looked like he tried to pull it there but he swings right through the fastball. You know he wants to end this inning right here on three and two but I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Hayward on the run. And this one bounds around against the wall. The relay to second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. John Lester, the 6'4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. John Lester. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball 1 and 1. This pitcher is bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Fouled away. Two out here and a runner at second. That's Hard good. sinker misses two and two. From the stretch. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. So they finally step aside here after clubbing the opposing pitching for four home runs in route to five total scores. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Yankees six and the Cubs one. New inning set to get underway. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. The guy in the mound is having one heck of a night, but the downside of that, if you're going to strike out a lot of guys, your pitch count is going to be high. So this gives the offense some kind of hope as this game's getting down to the end. Nope, and that's, that's too ball. high, ball two. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Now the 2 0 home. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there. And that's the first out of the inning. The batter, the center fielder, Ian Happ. Coming to the plate now, Ian Happ. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Nope. Now the 1 0 is taken, strike one. Hap with a 2 and 1 count now. Bases are empty, one man out. To two and two now. 
That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at-bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Good battle. Count remains full. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. Should wind up a foul ball. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch coming. Here it is. All one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. All even now, two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another full count pitch home. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. The lead remains five. It's six to one. Last half of the seventh here. And digging in is the outfielder, Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball one, no strike. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Lester, a 36-year-old veteran, is a 15-year Major League vet, so it's been quite the career for him. Yeah, and that's the name of the game with this guy. You don't hang around 13 years. I always say this. You show me a good teammate, I'll show you a guy. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot here to left center field, his second home run of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. <laughs> Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he hits one on a line to left field. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you as a pitcher. 
Were you even aware when yeah. guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Gary Sanchez swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Nobody out, runner on first. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate, but he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, way out front on the second. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The bat, the second baseman, DJ LeMayhew. In now, DJ LeMayhew. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. First pitch of the at bat. Ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. Bouncer up the middle. Kipnis ranging to his right. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Yankees seven and the Cubs one. Tommy Kingley has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48, Tommy Kingley. Ready to begin the eighth and stepping in the long ball threat, Javier Baez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Line drive, base hit down the line. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. No doubt about it. He was the looking bat. fastball all the way there. And that's exactly what he got. Got the barrel out front and just blasted it down the line for an extra base hit. Nobody out. Runner in scoring position. Great opportunity here. In now, David Bodie. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. straightened him up there on that fastball it's one and two now his heaters got some late ride through the zone a lot of late swings right now you're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early to two balls and two strikes now well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to and this one gets away and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. 
That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. A runner in scoring position with none out. Grounded weakly toward third. And the tag gets him. But one run is in to score on the play. They get the run there, but this late in the game with a lead in hand, you'll definitely trade it out for a run that doesn't mean a whole lot. At the plate, Chris Bryant. Base is empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. One ball, no strikes to count. One out, nobody on. Changeup stays outside and he's behind 2-0. and This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Too high, and it's 3-0. and Now here's the pitch. And that's over three and one. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. Bases are empty, one man out. He Ooh. loses him on ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last now pitch back. was Check. really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Digging in once again, Wilson Contreras. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. 1-0 and oh, the count. From the stretch. Fouled off. Here's the one and one delivery. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Guess who tipped their hand? They were sitting all over a piece of cheese. He flew open on the front side. The 2 2 pitch. Oh, and they pulled the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Into the box now, Anthony Rizzo. He was a ground out victim last time up. First offering on its way. Hey. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. No, that's ball.
Now you guys know me, hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Yankees are out in front, 7-2. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, go. and that'll Four bring up the game. outfielder, Mike no Talkman. Yeah, and that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball oh, around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. The 2-1. Down to 3-1. Torres waits on deck. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eighth. Man, when you don't get a call on a pitch that good, you have to wonder if maybe it's personal. You can't blame him for being angry, but he's got to find a way to move on and focus on the next batter. Now to the plate, Torres. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribbon. Hit hard on the ground is short, and that's through for a hit. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three for four right there. He's looking super solid at the play. Ryan Tapera comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Ryan Tapera. So now to the plate, Miguel Andujar. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh. He's working on a 1-for-3 thus far. The 1-0 oh home. And it's fouled away. set here comes the 1-1 one, one. first and second here with nobody out he's Ooh, fallen behind five. now three and one Luke Voigt is on deck Mm, and a good pitch there as they come after him and the count goes full. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. And he's forced to protect with two strikes as he had to reach for that one to foul it away. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. In the air to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with oh, one away. Point. We'll see if moving up the third pays off for him. He didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. So striding in, Luke Voigt, and their runners at the corners now. First delivery to him on the way. And that's high for a ball, 1-0. and 
And it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen. Now the 1 0. Hey. Tapera has a good reputation for preventing the long ball. One swing can change the complexion of the ball game when you're coming in late, but he rarely lets that happen. Part of what makes him as effective as he is. The 1 1 home. Taken strike two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So the lineup flips over, and digging in, Brett Gardner. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Into right field. That's a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Sometimes it's hard to explain when a game is this lopsided. A lot of things just kind of snowball on you. One thing leads to another. A big hit, which leads to another. Some bad defense, some shoddy pitching. Next thing you know, you look up, and you're on the wrong side of a whole lot of badness. Into the box now, Aaron Judge. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder looking up, still going back. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run shot to left center, his third home run of the ball game, as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Well, if you would have told him when he woke up this morning that he was going to hit three home runs tonight, he would have thought he was dreaming. Well, it's a dream night, but he's wide awake. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two hits in four attempts to this point. fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 2. And it's one, one and two. two and he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Regardless of the result right here. To be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. The 2-2. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' D.H. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. There's ball four. 
Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Digging in now, Gary Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. 0-1, here it comes. Yeah. Well, you can see he's coming right at this guy, just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Yankees 11 and the Cubs 2. Standing in, Kyle Schwarber. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. Warburg. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. The 0 1 pitch takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. The one two. Struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Final line there for the Yankees starting pitcher. He was on point from the get go this evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. Into the box, Jason Hayward. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ball, ball two now. Two balls, no strike. And it's two balls and no strikes to Jason Hayward. Two balls and a strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. One out, nobody on. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Popped him up. Torres is there for it. Two gone. The cutter fielder, number eight, Ian Hunt. So digging in now, Ian Happ has got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. This is line to left. 
And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And Jason Kipnis up next will bat this inning. So some real problems out there that time as it'll wind up in E7. Jason Kipnis. To the plate now, Jason Kipnis. And that misses ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. That evens it up one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. Cow is on his way home. Safe at the play. And the gap shortens, but still plenty of work to do. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side, to send him. And the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw, but that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send. A good send in a close play, but it all worked out. Ben Heller gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Stepping in now, Javier Baez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. One ball and one strike to the Cubs leadoff batter. The 1-1. One, one. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Man, I'm interested to see this next pitch. Three balls pounded on the inside half of the plate. He either has no respect for this hitter, or he's setting him up to go down and away. And now those that have stuck it out tonight come to their feet. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied him up in knots, and the ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last. 11-3 the final score in this contest. New York with a division-leading 60th team win this year. Garrett Cole gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.